The vaccine, which could prevent type 1 diabetes, the world's first artificial pancreas app, and more info on the effects of COVID-19 on people with type 1 diabetes. All this and more coming up in today's video. Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Lowe and welcome back to my channel. I've got some really, really exciting things to tell you about today, but before we get into all of that, please, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel and if you enjoy this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Well, we've got lots of great news coming from JDRF recently, but we're going to start with the vaccine, which could help to prevent type 1 diabetes. Now, it's coming a little too late for most of us. Unfortunately, it's not gonna help me cure my diabetes, but future generations might never have to go through the emotional pain of having to weigh a plate of pasta. Now, type 1 diabetes isn't caused by a virus, so this new drug won't vaccinate against the condition directly, but what we do know from research is that certain viruses have been linked as triggers for the condition. The virus in question is the Coxsackie viruses, I hope I'm saying that right. The Coxsackie viruses, which are very common in children and can cause everything from colds to hand, foot and mouth disease. But the reason that scientists think that there is a link is that many people with type 1 have evidence of a Coxsackie virus infection in their pancreas. The vaccine that is potentially going to be the saviour to many is now moving into clinical trials in the US thanks to continued investment from the fantastic JDRF. Sticking with viruses now, and the one that we wish would all go away right now is COVID-19, the virus that's causing so much frustration and heartache around the world. And there's also been a lot of talk and information about how COVID can affect people with type 1 diabetes quite severely. Well, I'm going to tell you about some more research into that now. And a group of US scientists studied a group of 33 people with both type 1 diabetes and a confirmed case of COVID-19. And as well as all your usual symptoms like losing taste and smell, a dry cough and high temperatures, they found that nearly a third of the people that they studied went on to develop DKA. And I think a lot of us know that illness can cause people with type 1 diabetes to have higher blood sugar levels. And in this particular study, more than half of the group did. So I think what we can take from this is that if you've got COVID-19 or you think you've got COVID-19, it's probably a good idea to get a test as soon as possible and keep an eye on those blood sugar levels and ketones. Remember, if it's above three, then you should probably call a healthcare professional. It's also very, very important to still keep sticking to the social distancing guidelines, keep washing those hands, but I don't know about you, my blood sugars have been, you know, especially high, especially recently, because of these continued weeks of lockdown. I've just been, generally not moving a lot and staying home and it's really having an impact on my diabetes management so because of that reason I am really really keen to stay COVID free for as long as possible. But just this weekend more lockdown easing in England means that pubs, bars, restaurants are starting to reopen and many of us are going to be facing a tough decision about returning to work. Rightly, many people are very concerned right now about their exposure to COVID-19 in the workplace. And Diabetes UK say that their helpline has been filled with people concerned for their welfare because they have to leave home to go to work or will soon be required to do so. Now, they've got a new campaign and the basis of that is that people at risk should not have to make a choice between their health or financial security. So, Diabetes UK is asking the UK government to give people with diabetes the right to stay at home if they do not feel safe going into their workplace. Now, this is inclusive of the right to fair remuneration, such as being furloughed if they are unable to work from home. So, Diabetes UK is asking for a helping hand. They're asking all of us to get in touch with our local MP to help them convince the Secretary of State for Business and Energy and Industrial Strategy, boy that's a long job title, Alex Sharma MP who you'll have seen doing the press briefings for number 10 over the past few weeks and the rest of those people working within number 10 to keep people with diabetes safe at work by introducing clearer advice, increased protections, and most importantly, the right to stay at home if we can't be kept safe in the workplace. 
Now, I'm actually going to be speaking to someone from Diabetes UK next week about the campaign and what progress they're making with it. But I'm really, really interested to see how this is affecting you. Are you concerned about going back to work and are you feeling the pressure from your boss? So let me know what you're thinking in the comments section below. Right, our final story now, and we're gonna get back to some better news. And it's an app that can turn your phone into an artificial pancreas. The Cam APSFX app, bit of a mouthful, was developed by JDRF researcher, Professor Roman Havorka, and it works with an insulin pump and a glucose monitor to automatically deliver insulin to people with type one diabetes via a complex algorithm sounds all very sciencey and to be honest it probably is incredibly sciencey it's currently only available on android phones so sorry iphone users and works with the dexcom g6 so sorry freestyle users and the dana diabetes care rs insulin pump so sorry anyone that uses a different insulin pump to be honest i'd never actually heard of that insulin pump before but it looks like this it's a tiny tiny little thing also the app is pretty pricey currently costing about 70 pounds 70 70 pounds per month so I don't know what that is per year it's 700 is that 840 is my mental maths right anyway it's pretty pricey it costs a lot if you're gonna buy it but it, it, it's a massive step in the right direction loads of people have been creating their own looping systems for a while now to create an artificial pancreas out of technology to hand so we know it's possible and one day soon we can all just leave all the maths which i think i probably proved that i can't do very well for the phones in our pockets but it is a massive step towards having this you know firstly um approved by healthcare providers and our national health service and also having it freely available for people like me who aren't techy enough to create my own looping system with what i've got to hand but that is the latest news in the type 1 world for now don't forget to subscribe to this channel here for more updates and give me a follow on social media for more i'm jamie low tv everywhere but that is it for today's video i'm going to be back soon bye bye for now